Hello, in this video I'm gonna to tell you in this video about the most common mistakes of new buys and what I faced during my last three or four years of online trainings. First of all, I want to point out that people who just come to 3D start to mess with everything. They start to build very huge scenes, a lot of materials, very complex compositions, and they start to build a rocket instead of uh, starting from something simple. For example, this scene is typically a new buy scene. There are a lot of elements, there are a lot of lights, a lot of objects, and they are not grouped. So when I open this scene and I have to waste a lot of time to investigate and understanding what is going on here. So first of all, I have to group this into maybe nulls and rename it. All lights should be signed properly because I don't know what side this RS light to light from. So don't be such person who create project and doesn't care about naming. Other huge mistake is using a lot of materials. So edit, delete, unused materials, the button you should always hit after you finalize your project. So we don't have duplicate of materials. And be sure you don't stack materials one another and third, fourth materials on one element without using selection. So if you don't use selection, just keep the last material, the main material, and delete all previous. This will help you to clean the project properly without duplicates of material. When you finalize your project, file save project with the sets will collect all files or textures and if you have a lot of duplicate materials there will be not necessary not used files so be sure you clean all materials and keep only that i using in project after you consolidate all footages textures and assets you're using in your project put it into a archive file that could be open on any operating system for example dot zip so step by step the order the proper naming the clean materials and consolidating all your assets in one archive file for proper sending to client or maybe to your colleague now we're going to talk about proper project viewing for example when you have a slide adding we have illumination on and we don't see any viewport proper geometry it's over lighting so uncheck this checkbox to avoid this blank viewport this is very handy after we're able to see the geometry we see the problem of composition it's like first or maybe the last project of person and he would like to add all he knows all elements he knows to this composition maybe he even want to add more colors of rainbow so to show that it's rich maybe even metal and now we start to get a lot of distraction elements a lot of materials a lot of extra 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 things when we don't need and camera could be a set like you know parents shooting their kids from the tall and it's always view from the top to the bottom i recommend you to avoid this top view so drop the cam camera low change the focal length to proper one for example if you set very low focal length it's like very distorted geometry and we always try to avoid to set proper lens focal length 50 or maybe 130 and now we have these vertical lines going vertically no distortion and it looks more professional like portrait lens in photography 
now you see the shot looks richer and we go back to maybe 35 and change the angle of camera we start to see not professional look distortion our spheres start to pop and when we go back to our focal length and setting proper angle we see more clear our composition without any perspective distortion of vertical lines the next big problem is lighting sometimes it's too flat and all we have to do is to set one strength from the side so we get shadows so we get lighting and then people start to compensate these shadows from setting side light now on top we have top light to avoid these shadows and one more light at the front at the final of this manipulation we have overexposed composure with these blooms and all these white zones which are not good looking so we have to face with this problem now and how to solve it when you're starting to build your lighting setup be sure that every light has no overexposure at the beginning decrease intensity multiplier to that value so we don't have these white blooms of course we have to compensate this dark zone at right so we enable lighting and some people try to set the identical value in intensity and we get flat lighting again so be sure to avoid it and decrease the side light in few lower values so one side will be brighter than another the same principle is for the top lighting we're adding top light and we have to position it right maybe decrease intensity so it will not be so strengthful in the scene and kill all the shadows from geometry very often front light kill all the shadows so i don't recommend to use it and instead of it we can light up our scene with enabling global illumination engine to avoid these dark zones at the bottom and in crossing of geometry global illumination will eliminate these black zones in one click we get bright light and now i want to work with composition to lower all our geometry maybe change the angle of the camera if you would like to add more light at secondary GI engine for example iridian sketch or brute force and now we get more light in the scene we have reflex so light bounce to a yellow sphere and then go back to flow with color it by sphere and now i set bucket rendering and disable brute force so we clearly see the difference that add brute force to our rendering not brute force global illumination and the difference is huge our light start to lose all this magic of real light bouncing and rendering looks flat and not so colored going back to brute force to global illumination and now we see magic happening back to our rendering i think this is very powerful option but it requires powerful cards and sometimes you have to optimize your scene and settings of brute force for faster rendering now we're going to check the final version of this file how it should like the composition the naming and the groups when you just open inside of null there can be some mess but all object assign so we back wall maybe cylinder cloner back cloner front cloner floor and light is grouped and named so every user that opened this project will understand r for the right l for the left top for the top light above our geometry this is the final composition so i rearrange objects add some materials and i use camera helpers in composition folder to show grid maybe triangles or golden spiral to arrange and to build the composition the main rule i use that camera always stick with zero value in x position so all elements should be arranged at the world zero point this principle 
or building around zero point will help you to align objects in the scene. Of course, name the materials. I have another composition here, so we can check it. As you see, I use very simple primitive spheres, maybe basic shapes, which are available in Content Browser. Maybe two or three colors, white, purple, yellow, and simple texture of mixing these between each other. I strongly recommend you not to overcomplex your project. Use simple models, simple materials at the start, building simple composition and organize your project because when you send it to client or maybe to your colleague, he says, thank you for titling all elements. He will not waste time to find out what this lights for, what this elements for. Name all elements in your project properly. Keeping order in your project will help you in time to change something, to reopen your project. Lights in one folder, geometry in another folder. Everything looks great and very simple and clean. Now I disable global illumination. With bucket rendering we see that we lost all our color magic. So I strongly recommend you to check your scene with global illumination and two primary and secondary engines, maybe three bounces. Sometimes only enable global illumination will drastically improve your rendering quality. This video is not very technical, but very conceptual. And I hope that all mistakes I point out during this short lesson will help you to speed up your workflow, to bring it to another level, and the result renderings will improve after you make your workflow and pipeline more clear and effective. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.